Ludu Senwin is a few veteran Burmese journalists still alive in Rangoon. He has been known for a critical stand against Burma's ruling regime. Today, at age 69, and suffering from paralysis in his right hand and mechanically assisted in breathing, Ludu Senwin continues expressing his disagreement in the ruling junta's roadmap to democracy. During a brief interview with Mizima's correspondent, Ludu Senwin said he and all Burmese people do not trust the constitution drafted by Burma's military government, formerly known as the State Peace and Development Council, SPDC, and their planned 2010 election. I want to tell you, we Burmese people have no interest at all in this election. It was only interested by the foreign media and foreigners mm. yeah. and also foreign governments. Yeah, I understand. We have no interest because Burmese people knew too well that it was a, another cheat. They have experienced this kind of election and this kind of constitutional referendum in 1974. Mm. In 1974, they announced 90.2%, percent approval ratings mm. in that referendum. And after that referendum, they have held many elections. Mm. And General Lee Win had hand over the power to Uni Win. Yeah. The yeah. situation of the people, country yeah, sure. and the plight of the people is just the same. Yeah. No difference at all under this same dictatorship. Mm. And that's why people have no interest in this referendum, this constitution, and the election. Because they know it will, it will not be fair yes. election. They yeah. knew that it, mm. it is another cheat. Mm, sure. Even after the election, 2008 election, yes, General Tan Shui mm. will hand over the power to Wu Tan Shui. But there will be no change at all. I myself, I personally, never recognize this constitution, never recognize the National Convention. So I don't recognize the result of that National Convention, yeah. and I will not recognize the result of the con Convention to the election. Mm. As Burma continues to remain cut off from information, he said, people inside Burma are relying on the exile media for their source of information. Therefore, he urged the exile media to continue to uphold a high standard of ethics and professionalism. This, this media is very important for us. Yeah. It is our only weapon yeah. to counter the propaganda and misinformation of the authorities. Yeah. And these are the only media put the whole nation rely on yeah. for information yeah. and comments. That is why it is very important for those exile media people yeah. to work wholly, wholeheartedly mm. for the cause of the country yeah. and for the sake of the people. Burmese people for more than 40 years yeah. never listened to the Burmese government radio stations. Mm, sure. They listened only to BBC and VOA in the past. Mm. Now they listen only to four stations, BBC, VOA, RFA and DVB. That is why these media are very important. So Even in the countryside. Mm. Every summer I went to stay in Mimu for the whole summer. Mimu is uh, like a military town mm. with many military academies oh, and many okay. retired military mm. officers. Like a cantonment. Yeah. But even in that cantonment area, mm. people listen to BBC, BUE, and RFP, and DVD. Mm. Yeah. In the countryside too, especially after this Nagis, yeah. many NGOs, 
distribute transistor radios at the country sites. Sure. So people have access to those radio stations. Okay. It's very good. Mm. That is why those exile media personnel should not deviate from our just cause and from our just fighting. Yeah. They should not walk like a Trojan horse. They should not be the agent of the dictators. Yeah. Some try to broker an appeasement solution. That is to accept the constitution, to accept the 25 percent participation, and to <coughs> enter into the election okay. and work under that energy control government. Okay. They are usually trying to lobby this, mm. including so-called Bamis bandits like <coughs> David Robert Taylor, David Steinbach and some Burmese, so-called Burmese scholars, they okay. are traitors. Mm. Media must, you see, media must reflect the real situation of our nation yeah. and reflect the real feeling of the people. Yeah. And media must give opinion yeah. to the people. Yeah. All opinion, and also yeah. media must guide the people. He also said, if he is given a chance, he would like to sue Mr. Campari, the United Nations Special Envoy to Burma, for misusing of his duties and obligations. According to him, Campari, who has visited Burma seven times since 2006, has failed to usher change, but his actions further rubber stamped the Junda's plan. Uh, two or three months back, I gave an interview to French TV. I told him. I want to sue Gambari for two reasons. One, misuse of his power and deliberately cheating the United Nations. Because his mandate, the reconciliation of the different parties, and to get the release of all the political prisoners. That is only two things. He was given power by the UN Security Council. But he came here seven times. And when he went back, he reported, oh, it's, we have some positive progress. We have some positive developments. At the same time, you see, hundreds and hundreds of people have been jailed while he was still in Rangoon. And many <coughs> student leaders have been sent to far flung, you see, yeah, no. places far, far prison, yeah. like Putao, mm. like uh, Kali, Kanti. Yeah. No? It's torturing not only the prisoners, it's torturing the whole family. Yeah, no. Gambari also must condemn this thing, but he's a positive development. That is cheating the people and cheating the UN Security Council. Mm. He was not empowered to to recognize the constitution, mm. to recognize the election. But he did. Yeah. He did recognize the election. Mm. He did recognize the constitution. And he did lobby mm. the ASEAN nations yeah. to help this government to be able to hold a fair election. That is why you say I, I, I want to sue Gambari.